Today we're going to be demonstrating facial bones. Uh, one of the ways we tell you to remember facial bones is uh, uh, using the acronym of CLAW, which is going to be for Caldwell, Lateral, uh, Arches, not AP, but Arches, and Waters. Uh, so those are the routine views. There's going to be Caldwell, Waters, Lateral, and Arches. So first thing I'm going to demonstrate is going to be our Caldwell view. Our tube angle is going to be 15 degrees, uh, called Ed. I'm going to center, already center to the film and center locked. I'm going to have the patient to uh, put, position their head uh, just like you would for a PA skull. The OML will be perpendicular. So I'm have you put your forehead on the table. <clears throat> I'm going to make sure that the head is straight. Okay. Then I'm going to take and look at the OML. And that should be perpendicular to the IR. And it is. And I am going to make sure that I use the full body shield again for head work. Okay. Now, my centering for this is going to exit at uh, the nasion. So I'm going to use my pen and try to mark that right at the nasion. You look about right. And then I'm going to center at the MSP. And then I'm going to open up my collimation so that I can see it when it gets on my pen. So it's on my pen now. And I'm centered at the MSP. I'm going to adjust my collimation in so it's to the skin margin. And just a little bit to the top of the head here. I'm going to move my pen out. And this is her left side, so I'm going to put my left marker right there. Now in the Caldwell view, uh, we uh, are going to have that we should see the petrous ridges, good head position to indicate that the petrous ridges are in the lower one third of the orbits. Now the technique for this will be 77 kV center cell. Okay, so this is our Caldwell view for facial bones. Now we're going to do our waters view. So we're going to use a 10 by 12 lengthwise. I'm going to take my angle off. I'm going to recenter to my film and make sure I'm still center locked. Okay, so then I'm going to have the patient to bring their chin up. We need to have the MML, the mental medial line, should be perpendicular to the IR. So I'm going to have you tuck your chin down for me some. So that line between the mentum and EAN should be perpendicular. Okay. I want to make sure that the head, does it look okay? okay? And then I'm going to make sure that the head is straight. All right, so then I'm going to do my centering. Now the centering is going to exit at the acantheon. So again, I'm going to use my pen and mark my place. Open up my collimation so I can see that. I'm going to move it up so that the line is on my pen and that it's at the MSP. Go ahead and take my pen out and I'll call mate in. Skin margins here side to side to the top of the head. Again, I'm going to use my left marker. Now, on this view, we should see uh, the petrous ridges should actually be below the maxillary sinuses. That would be a good indication uh, that the positioning is correct. The technique will remain the same 77 uh, kV and center cell. So this is our waters view, and we get this name just because it's sort of like keeping your head above water, is the waters view for our facial bones. Now the next view we're going to do is going to be our lateral. Now the lateral will be determined upon which side the patient is, feels it's is hurt, which side, maybe a, the cheek or eye or whatever, whatever hurts. So for our demonstration, we're going to do our right lateral. So if you would turn your right side of your head on the table for me. The film will still be 10 by 12. It will remain lengthwise, okay? We're going to go through our progression. We need to look and verify that the, uh, the IPL is perpendicular to the IR. Okay, we need to make sure that the MSP is parallel. And then the IOML should be perpendicular to the front edge. And now we've got our true lateral, then our centering. Our centering is going to be at the level of the zygoma, and it's going to be between the EAM and the outer canthus. So we're going to go about halfway between the outer canthus and the EAM, and then we're going to go at the level of the zygoma. And then our collimation will be just so we're uh, 
to the top of the head here. Now we're doing a right lateral. So I'm going to put my right marker in here. Now the technique does change a little bit. It's going to be about 70 uh, to 73 kV center cell because uh, you're just interested mostly in the facial uh, area. The film size once again was 10 by 12 and again it is lengthwise. This is our lateral uh, view of our face and it's going to be again dependent upon which side the patient hurts on. So next we're going to do our SMV. Now this isn't done at all sites but it's part of the routine here at St. Mary's. So if you would roll onto your back for me. Now, what we want to do is we, we need to take and get a pillow or something for underneath the patient's shoulders. So if you would sit up a little bit. This is a little bit more. This is going to make you really fall back there. Okay, I got you. Okay, we're going to have her head drop, drop back as much as we can here. That's good. All right, so I'm going to put the film holder and I'm going to put a weight. Then I'm going to need my 10 by 12. We're going to use, a again, a 10 by 12 film size and it will be crosswise with the head, okay? So I'm gonna look up here and make sure that her head is straight. I'm gonna put the film here leaning back. The weight's gonna hold the film in position. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the IOML parallel to my film. So once I get her head straight, okay, here's the OML. So the IOML is about right here. So I need to bring my film up just a little. So now it is parallel to the film, okay? Once I've done that, then I'm gonna center up my tube. I'm gonna angle. And I usually try and look at the housing and it should be pretty close to the same angle. That's gonna give me an idea. And then my centering is gonna be about one and a half inches down from the chin from here from the momentum about one and a half inches down. And then I'm going to open up my collimation. And then what we want to see here is we want to see how this is pooched out here a little bit. That's sort of what we're trying to see. Now you do want to use both markers. I think I need to adjust my collimation a little bit wider. My right marker and my left marker. Okay, so I want to get both markers on there. Technique on this, but we're not in the bucky, so we're going to have to set a technique. So we're going to use 60 kV at 25 mass, okay, for our SMV. So this is to see our bilateral uh, SMV for the, or the zygomatic arch view. Now, some people, you're not able to see both sides, and that's a very common problem. So what we're going to do is show you how to do a unilateral SMV. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the patient again with her head back like this. We need to rotate the head toward the affected side. So we're going to rotate the head toward the affected side. Then we're going to, the key here is the chin. We're going to tilt the chin toward the affected side. I over exaggerated just to sort of give you an idea of what I mean. So we get the head straight. I'm going to rotate and then tilt the chin. And then we're going to recenter. And then our centering is just going to be to the one arch. Okay, then I'm going to recenter my film. Okay. And if you'll notice how it's protruding this one side out even more. So that's an indication, that's what we're trying to see. We're trying to really pooch the arch out of the, the side we're trying to see. Now you may have to do uh, unilateral and do both sides because you can't get the patient uh, positioned correctly and that's okay. We try to do the bilateral and if not, again, we're gonna try the, uh, the unilateral. The technique will remain the same. It's still gonna be 60 kV at 25 mass. Now this will be our uh, facial uh, bone views uh, for the face.